This is a pretty tricky sample problem, so if you didn't get it, don't worry, let's take a look at it together. If triangle ABC is isosceles, BC equals 5, and AC is greater than 10, which of the following statements must be true? Okay? We need to figure out which one of these statements has to be true based on the information given here. So we need to take our time and read this a little bit more carefully and start to really understand what it means. If triangle ABC, and I can see it right here, triangle ABC, is isosceles. Isosceles means that two of the sides are going to be congruent or equal in length. Okay? So it's either going to be these two sides here, these two sides here, or these two sides here. Right now I can't tell which pair it's going to be, and this doesn't help because it says figure not drawn to scale, so I can't go based on what the drawing looks like. Okay? Can't go by the looks of the drawing, I can only go with the factual information that I get down here. Okay? And then it says here BC equals 5, you can see that BC is 5, it's right there, and AC is greater than 10. Now that's not labeled, I don't know what AC is, but I know that it's greater than 10, so I'm just going to put in a little reference for myself, 10 plus, little note for myself. Now, I have now already figured out that these two can't be the sides that are congruent, because this one's 5 and this one's greater than 10. So it's either going to be these two that are both greater than 10, or these two that are both 5. And what I can do now is I can make a guess if I want. I can just put a 5 in here and see what happens. And if I think about it for a second, I remember an old saying that says, the shortest distance between two points is the straight line that connects them. So if I were going to walk, let's say, from point A along this line to point C, this straight line distance from A to C would, be, would have to be the shortest way to get from A to C. And this shortest way is more than 10 which means that I can't go this way 5 and 5, which is way out of the way, and have it be 10, which is less than this way. The shortest distance has to be the straight line. So this out of the way path has to be greater than 10 plus. It's only 10. The geometry rule that relates to this is any two sides of a triangle, their sum has to be greater than the third side. Let's think about that. If I take any two sides of a triangle, like these two fives, and I add them together by placing them side by side, they have to be greater than the third side, and they're not here. The third side would be longer. That 10 plus would be longer than the two fives together. And you can see that we can't make a triangle with these three pieces. A 5 and a 5 would not be long enough to bridge a gap that's greater than 10. So there is no triangle possible here, therefore I know that this can't be 5. So I already figured out that these two can't be equal, I just figured out that these two can't be equal, I now know that these two have to be the two that are congruent. So this one here is also going to be greater than 10. I don't know what it is, but I know that these two are equal to each other. So I look at the answer choices and the first one says, AB is greater than 10. I look up here and I realize, hey, you know what? AB is greater than 10. It's 10 plus. I'm just going to pick A and move on. I'm not even going to look at the rest of the answer choices.